name is Austin, and today we we here at Titan School with Able Vision from Morgan, and we are going to take a look at Titan School through the eyes of the students. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. Here we go. Again, this is Jarek, and I'm here with Winnie now. Winnie, Winnie, how are you today? I'm great. How are you? Good, thank you. How much pre preparation do you have to do for a, for a normal day? Let's see. For a normal day, we get the kids' lessons ready for their reading and their math. We get all their equipment out, their braces, their wheelchairs. We get their food out and all the toys out. It's probably an hour in the morning and an hour after work. What is the ISP to curriculum? Um, it's regular preschool curriculum. We do social studies, we do math, reading, we have a play period, and plus the kids all have therapy. They have physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy. We also have vision therapy and music therapy. So they are busy. How is it modified to, this, to the, each student's needs? We do a lot of modification for the kids' vision here. So we do a lot of big letters and plain backgrounds and slow work, slow talking. And, all right, thank you, Winnie. You're welcome. Oh, Ms. Mayo, how are you today? I'm great, how are you? Good, thank you. How long have you been teaching in the lower school at Conning? I've been at Conning School for about 19 years and I've always been in the lower school, always in the same classroom. How do you prepare for lower school classes? What is the best part of your job? The best part of my job is spending time with the kids. Uh, it's really rewarding to see a student who has worked really hard at a skill and finally everything comes together. And they are able to succeed in something that has previously been difficult for them. Um, that's probably the best part of my job. I think it's rewarding. How are you, Tatiana? I'm good, Jack. What, what do you like to do after school? I like to go. I like to go to soccer, find swimming, and I like to do art with my mom. What does Carding have to offer you? We have good lunches. Are you happy here? Yes, I am. What is your favorite class? IA is a just the arts where we make tables and, and wood. Nico, how are you today? Good. Can you tell me, what was it like coming to Cotting from another school? Um, I felt much better when I heard I wasn't going to be excluded as much because I was in a public school before, and um, now I'm not as excluded as much as I was in my old school. What does Cotting have to offer you? It has a big PT department, has a big gym, it has a big uh, CT room, and yeah. Are you happy coming here? Yes, I am happy coming here. What is your favorite class? Industrial arts and gym class. I'm 
Hello, this is Jack Berry, still recording again, and I'm here with the gym teacher, Mr. Dan Cuddy. How are you, Mr. Cuddy? I'm doing great. It's good to see you again, Jack. Jack's an old friend of mine. We go way back. Nice to see you again, too. Can you tell us how what, what's involved in getting the um, gym classes for the day set up? The gym classes are set up. Um, basically, the way it's set up is the kids, if uh, the high school students have gym once a week, the lower school and middle school kids um, have gym twice a week, okay? So uh, once I have my schedule set up, I kind of plan what the activity is going to be. Sometimes I have two classes in here at once. Uh, we'll have a big game, and other times I have just one class, and I'll do something that's more individual, like obstacle courses or small small group games. So it depends depends on what the uh, how the class schedule is set up, depending on what I do. How long do the classes usually usually run? The gym classes run for an hour, okay. And the way we break it up is that we kids we usually do uh, we have a warm up. If it's the weather's good, we go outside and do laps outside. Or um, if the weather's not good, we do laps in the gym. We do exercises, and then we usually play two games uh, every day. I, I don't like doing one game for too long. I like kind of splitting it up because it's a long hour. A lo an hour is a long time for the kids to do one activity. Can you tell us a little bit about the basketball team here? First of all, the basketball team, it runs from, we start right after Thanksgiving, and we go until about the middle of March. Um, we have, it's open up to middle and high school age kids, okay, and right now we have, I think we have close to 45 players in the program, and that's split up onto two teams. We have a JV team and we have a varsity team, okay, and, um, and the way the games play, we usually have the varsity team plays against a team outside of Cotting, and the JV team usually plays against each other in like a practice game before the varsity game. How long have you been coming to Cotting? After this year, I will have been attending Cotting for a What is your favorite class? My favorite class has to be um, science. I start meeting with the seniors on Friday afternoons, right, right in September, the beginning of the year. And during our Friday meetings, we do things like have class elections where we elect the class president and vice president. Uh, we plan several of the major activities for, the senior, for their senior year, including the big things that happen later in the year, such as the uh, class trip to Disney World in Florida, which we go every year, uh, our school prom, and of course the graduation itself. Another thing that we do throughout the year is fundraising. So we have jeans days frequently, sometimes on a Friday, sometimes on, on other days, uh, where the students collect donations from the staff for the privilege of wearing jeans to school. 
Uh, we also have a, a raffle for the senior class, and we have a big flower day event uh, for Valentine's Day where we sell and deliver flowers to all the students and staff. And that's a way of helping to raise funds for primarily for our senior class trip. My favorite guiding memories are when I had calamari for the first time at the Rainforest Cafe and when I went on the Expedition Everest ride at Disney World on the senior trip and meeting my girlfriend Kayla. Where do you live? How old were you when you started at Corning? Is going and Corning worth the commute? What are your post-graduation plans? Thank you, Allison. Dan, when did you start that carding? How long did it take you to get familiar here? It was it easy or hard to make friends? What is your favorite class? What was your worst class and why? My worst class is English because there's too many rules to remember. What do you and your friends um, do in free time? We love to joke around because trouble doing us and joke around is kind of just a fun way of playing. What do you and your friends do in the We do a Like any traditional library, we have a wide selection of books, but our, our collection is a little different. We uh, seek to uh, purchase books that are of an appropriate, age-appropriate format for our students, but also an appropriate reading level. And as we have students at many different reading levels, we have to look for a wide variety of, uh, of reading levels uh, that are a good, uh, good pictorial format for our students. 
So as a result, we might have four or five different versions of the same popular title uh, at different reading levels for our students. So that, I think, makes our collection a little bit unique. We also have a wide uh, variety of audiobooks available, a wide variety of educational videos, and also we have several uh, subscriptions to internet sites that provide access to a wide selection of ebooks. Can you tell me about your Project Bread job? How, why didn't you choose that? Can you tell us what your role here is at Cardiff? What determines on what students get serviced from you? Eligibility to receive communication therapy is based on a whole bunch of things, um, formal testing results, team meetings, um, previous plans that were in place. Um, and what the student does get uh, is being eligible for communication therapy. We do formal assessments and look informal assessments to determine the areas of need and how we best help our students. Do you see the same number of students every single day? What's your favorite part of your job? How long have you been a physical therapist here at Conning? Uh, I started here in 1990, so that makes this about 23 years now. What kind of services do you provide being a physical therapist? Physical therapy here at Conning, uh, we work on mobility, first uh, functioning, uh, we do things like range of motion, uh, flexibility, strengthening exercises, anything that we can do to make students more functional. What's the best part of your job? Smile, Ryan. Wait. You're on Cardi camera.
Thank <laughs> you. 